we need a strike team of Type Sixes and a strike team of structure protection engines for the Fort Carson fire. A fast moving grass fire threatens housing units on Fort Carson. Unknown how the fire started and just how many acres have burned, but it burned dangerously close to on post housing, forcing evacuations and also frighteningly close to Evans Army Community Hospital. The fire started just before noon along Gate 5 near Highway 115. That's Titus Boulevard heading on post. Now evacuations on post include the Navajo Village Housing Area, the Warrior Transition Battalion, and the 10th Special Forces Complex. Gate 5 remains closed at this hour, and Evans Army Community Hospital is diverting patients off post and telling anyone with a fresh emergency to go to an off post ER or urgent care. News 5's Sam Kramer is live to begin our team coverage on this weather alert day. Sam, what are things looking like from your vantage point right now? Yeah, Zach, the fire has kind of died down in the last hour or so. Just about, like I said, 60 minutes ago, we saw a huge plume of black smoke coming from this draw, which means that this wildfire just hit some fresh conditions, fresh fuels for it to burn into. Now, let me just talk about a little bit about the terrain here. Because of that draw, this fire becomes a lot harder to fight uh, just due to the fact that fire generally, uh, most scenarios, does like to burn uphill. That proves a, a huge problem for firefighters. Obviously, they're always looking out for their safety. It's also difficult to get a lot of the bigger equipment in there, like engines and tenders. So they kind of have to let it burn up to them. And we saw two helicopters dropping water onto the fire, trying to kind of suppress its spread. But really, you cannot fight a wildfire solely from the air. That's really only for suppression. It's got to be done on the ground. What we're seeing right now are a lot of brush teams, hand teams, going around in this black scar and kind of feeling it. Many of many in which cases are just taking off their gloves and feeling with their hand to check for any hot spots. You know, you can see this is the area that it burned earlier. The fire moves south, even though the winds are pushing to the northeast, just kind of goes back into the terrain talk right there through the draw. It also the winds accelerated up through that way. So we have no word on size. We did ask. Uh, we've been trying to get in touch with Fort Carson Public Affairs. Obviously, they're very busy uh, kind of trying to coordinate everything there. Uh, we did speak with the Colorado Springs firefighter not too long ago who said they are working to map it right now. Uh, so no word on size, no word on containment. But no uh, buildings are threatened at this time. They have done some evacuations. Um, as you touched on earlier, Zach, but that was more for smoke inhalation concerns. Now, as you see over here, this housing complex, the fire did get very close. They still have active structure production in place just in case something does go wrong. So, Zach, we're going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to send it right back to you now uh, in the studio. Sam, thanks. Sam